Well, it's time for the Topaz Photo AI weekly update video. This new update is version 1.1.1. I'll show you how to find out what the new features and fixes are. I also have a tip for the remove noise module. Stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Cully. Let's take a look at the newest update for Topaz Photo AI version 1.1.1. But today I'm going to start off by giving you a tip. If you ever want to know what's new in Topaz Photo AI or how Topaz are planning to move ahead with this product in the future, just go up to the Photo AI menu, click on the word help, and click give feedback. And when you do that, it opens up your web browser and it takes you to this page right here where you can see a roadmap. In other words, everything that Topaz are planning in the near future to do to Photo AI, we can click on that, and I'll show you that in a minute, where you can see what they're planning on doing, and then you'll notice a list of all the different updates. Now, here's our latest update, version 1.1.1, so I'll click on this, and then we can read all about this new update right here. So that's kind of really nice information, and it's easy to get to. Now, we can read here that Topaz have added a ton of improvements in this release, including updating the AI engine, which should make things faster and more stable, embedding the metadata handling program EXIF tool into the app, which should also help with stability. Well, that's good news, as well as various image and preview fixes. This next paragraph is important. Please give us any feedback or report issues with this release. We'll be updating Topaz Photo AI regularly to address those pieces of feedback and issue reports. If there's a specific image you'd like us to see, you can send it to us at this Dropbox link. So just click on that link. You can upload an image for them to take a look at and see what kind of a problem you're having. And then right under that, you're going to notice all the new changes since version 1.1.0. I'm not going to take the time to read all this stuff, but just click on the help menu and click on give feedback. It'll bring you right here. After you click on the update you're interested in, it'll give you the changes, the fixes, and known issues. And then if you'll keep scrolling down, see right here it says one reply. In this area right here, you can go and give them your feedback. Now you're going to have to click log in first. You know, log in. And after you've logged in, when you come down here, you can click on reply. And then you could tell them what kind of an issue you're having. So that's important. And that'll go into this area as a comment. And then under that, you're going to find a bunch of different comments that people have made. You see that, all the different comments. So you could read comments and issues that people are having there as well. So this is something very good for you, and I highly recommend to go to help and click on Give Feedback and check out all these features. Now, let me go back because I want to show you the roadmap update. So if we click on the roadmap update, you can click on that as well. And you can read all about the what they're planning on doing. We're actively working on these features, you know, new upscaling model for enhanced resolution, uh, improved blur estimation, and further improved subject refinement. So they have a lot of things they're working on. And for those of you that use Apple Photos, they're going to be adding an Apple Photos extension. I highly recommend for everyone to go and check out the roadmap just to see where Photo AI is going. And then under roadmap, there's a reply here where you could leave a comment for Topaz and let them know what you would like to see them add to Topaz Photo AI. So that is all very important stuff. And they do listen. Believe me, they do. And then if you keep scrolling down, you could read the different comments for the roadmap, what other people were saying about it. So it's all very good information. And I'm not yet done with my help tips. So come back up to help, click on help, and click get support. If you're having issues with the product and you need to get some support, click on that, get support. It's going to bring you to this page. And you see this chat bubble down here? When they're in office hours, if you click on this, you can actually chat with an agent. So that's important. You can chat right there. On the weekends, you're not going to be able to get them, but you can click here and then you could add a subject, put your email address in and tell them what your issue is and click send and they will get back to you because they want to fix any issues that they have. So now you know how to access some information. Just go up to help, click on give feedback or get support. This says open log folder. I don't really know what this is, but there's logs in here. 
I'm sure this is something Topaz may want from us. If we're having a certain issue, they may want a log or something like that. I'm just guessing. If anybody knows what this is all about, let me know in the comments section below. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, please help to support the joy of editing with Dave Kelly by liking, sharing, and subscribing. And if you subscribe, click that bell notification. You'll get notified each time I put up a new tutorial. If you want to purchase any of the Topaz products, just click on my affiliate link directly below in the description. It'll take you to the Topaz website where you can purchase products. When you do that, I make a small commission, and that also helps support the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And when you do that, I thank you very much. Now I want to give you a tip when you're working with the remove noise module, okay? And that is this detail slider here. It's very important. I don't think I went over this in another video. I may have, but I want to touch on it again if I did. And this detail slider is important. Now this slider gets set by Photo AI when it scans your image on autopilot. So this setting may not be the same for every image. As well as the clarity adjustment, this slider gets set by Photo AI when you initially scan your image into Photo AI. So that's important, but you can change these, okay? In other words, you can add a lot more detail by dragging this to the right. And I find that the default setting that it picks for us is usually pretty good. In fact, I'm zoomed into 200% here so you can see my image. Here's the before, I'm just left clicking and holding down with my mouse. Here's the before and here is the after. Now let me go ahead and take this detail slider and drag it the whole way to the left and give it a second to update itself and it's almost there. Now it's there. Here's the before and here's the after. Now let's go ahead and reset to the default autopilot setting and now notice the difference. See the extra detail it's here and even look at some of these uh, some of this wood chips on the ground over here. You'll see that extra detail goes in there but you can take this if you want more detail if you drag it the whole way to the right, I'll let you see the difference here. Give it a second to update itself. It's almost there, and it is there. But see all that extra detail it's pulled out in different areas? Now that's way too much. But again, you could reset it to the autopilot setting. You might want a little bit more or a little bit less. But let's say on this image, I just want a little bit more. Let's let it update. And as you can see here, it's going to bring out a little bit of extra detail. So that's an important slider, and I think one that's often overlooked. So don't forget about that one. I think you're going to find you'll get some good results by playing with that. And let me know in the comments section below if you use that slider. Do you feel it's a beneficial slider for you? I'd really like to hear what you have to say about it. But that's all I have for you right now. But don't forget about the help up here in the menu. Give feedback. You can see what the new updates are about and also give your feedback. And also, if you're having issues, you can click on Get Support. Don't forget about that chat bubble during office hours. You can chat with them. If it's non-office hours, you can go ahead and leave a email and tell them what your problem is. Well, there it is, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a like, share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click the bell notification icon. Every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.